Welcome to The Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about identifying pests on your tomato plants, specifically insects or caterpillars. It's June. I'm in Maryland Zone 7. We've had a lot of rain. The warm weather is finally coming and what starts happening once you get a combination of lots of water and warmth is the insects come out. The tomatoes that are planted in these red containers also had peas in there. Each of them had about six or eight plants in there and you can see I took out a lot of the debris. I pruned them back pretty hard. There were a lot of peas left. But what happened was is there's a lot of dense foliage, so it's hard for birds to get in, which eat caterpillars and insects. It's hard to visually see what's going on. So I wanted to take a closer look at what was going on with these tomatoes. My other containers are doing pretty well. I can look at them every day. But come June, or come at the point in your zone where it's warm, there's a lot of water, you really want to inspect your tomatoes on a daily basis. And when you look at this one, it looks pretty good. It had some yellow leaves that I removed. But when you come over here, you can see the caterpillar right there climbing. But I found these holes. And as soon as you find something like that, that means you got uh, caterpillars or you got something chewing on it and it's not going to go away. So you really want to inspect the area where you see the damage. You can see one of them right on the leaf there. Don't know what variety it is, but I'll be removing that. But you want to look around because where there's one, there's usually a lot more. And you can see a small one right there above to the right of my, my thumb. So you want to inspect the tomato thoroughly and you want to do it on a daily basis. In fact, all your tomatoes, when the warmth comes, the rains come, you really want to keep an eye on what's going on because you can catch a lot of the problems. I'm not going to put uh, any kind of poison, organic or inorganic or chemical on these. I'm just going to take care of them by hand but you really do want to look at them uh, on a daily basis and see, you know, what's going on. A lot of times too, just as a tip, if you see holes, you'll find green droppings all over your leaves and you can sort of follow them to where the caterpillar might be hiding during the day. You also want to make sure you remove some of the branches on the bottom, remove some of the uh, leaves from in, in between the plant. And what that allows is birds, to come in and really eat insects that may be on your plants. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it just gives you a little bit of idea of what to start looking for with regard to damage. If you enjoyed the video, please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.